Hi, welcome to the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking. I am Julie Tussie, and the reason we have come up with this fantastic program for you is that I have a podcast called The Julie Tussie Show. <laughs> As a result, we do some amazing things on that podcast, and I share some of my recipes. Now, just to let you know right from the get-go, I've lost 24 pounds after being 30 for quite some time, which can be hard for women. And what I've done is taken my family's original recipes and some that I found online that are fantastic, and I lighten them up. So for this show, what I wanted to do was create a show where I teach you how to make the original recipes. But if you have fitness goals and you're trying to lose weight or get healthier, whatever it is that you are doing with your food, we're gonna give you a fit and fabulous version. Doesn't that sound good? So today on the show, I'm going to be cooking um, Queen Anne spaghetti, which is literally a recipe that has come down generation to generation because I'm from a big Italian family. And then I'm gonna be showing you a little bit of a fast toss salad. One thing you'll love about our recipes is that they are quick and easy. I know you're busy. I'm busy. I have six children and eight grandchildren. I know. It's awesome. I love it. It's fun. But my life is so busy and I know yours is. So everything we make for you is going to be quick and easy, but fantastic and fabulous and delicious and full of flavor. The other thing I'm going to make is what I like to call the original cherry cream soda. So let's get started. Today in the kitchen with me is my assistant, Gina Paytech. Gina, how hey. are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm really excited to um, try what you got going on in these pots here. I know, and I'm so glad you're going to be here good. assisting me. I love, love, love to have help in the kitchen, as I'm sure those that are watching, you either have kids or family. You know, not many people really cook alone. You can, that's but... That's true. I mean, it's so a little it's lonely that way sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Plus, if you have a friend, you don't have to do the dishes. Okay, so she just told on me. <laughs> she just told on me. Well, Gina's on the podcast with me too, um, so it just was a natural thing. You're a you're a big cook too. Like I'm learning some things from you too because on the Julie Tussie show we have no chef shish. In other words, I have no chef degree, and when we want right. Chef Shish, we're gonna bring the chefs in, right? We'll we already have talked to some, right? So I'm, so I'm learning from you, that's been wonderful. And I'm learning from you. I learned an easier way to cut open an onion the other day. <laughs> and I taught you how to cut a pomegranate. I, I know, I know. So it's like a trade off of how we educate each other. Um, well, we're gonna start with Queen Anne spaghetti. Now this recipe is so, so, so easy. I'm gonna tell you um, the ingredients and we may pop them up on the screen. If not, you can find them when you subscribe here at YouTube in the show notes. So you can get them there. It's gonna be awesome. We start with one pound of ground beef. I like, okay, I'm gonna say a name. I like Laura's lean and here's oh, why. Right. It's really low in fat and it's really low in hormones and in chemicals and things like that. So I love that. But you can use any hamburger you want. If you're going to use a hamburger that is a, is a heavier fat, you'll want to go ahead and drain your meat after you cook it. So we're going to take a medium green pepper, uh, a half of a, a Vidalia onion if you can find it, or a sweet onion. That's my favorite. If you don't have it, I'm telling you, I'm all about use what you have in your kitchen. So we're gonna take the onion and dice it pretty fine, the green pepper pretty fine. We're gonna brown it all together and guess what? We already did it. Ta-da! Right. The Cheek. magic of TV. <laughs> so in this pan, I have already browned and all I do is add salt and pepper. Now I know that that sounds strange, especially coming from an Italian woman, right? right. That sounds strange because we spice everything up, but you don't need it in this recipe. The wonderful thing about this recipe, not only that it's fast and easy to make, is that it is so simple, Gina. The ingredients are so simple. So we salted and peppered and we, we, we browned it off and now it's in this pan. Then, while you're cooking that, you want to take three-fourths of a box of angel hair pasta. Now, okay, let's talk about this a second. All right. Everybody has their own favorite thickness of pasta. And please don't call it noodles. It's pasta. <laughs> it's right. a pasta. Everyone likes something different. So if you don't like angel hair, you can use fettuccine. You can use regular spaghetti. You can be pretty creative. You could even make this recipe with a spiraled pasta. Just don't go make as big as fun. like the rigatoni. Yeah. That, that would be a little bit too big. 
The trick with your pasta is you're going to boil it. When you're boiling pasta, you always want to put olive oil, right, Gina? Exactly. In your water and salt in your water while it's boiling. This will help your pasta to not stick together while it's cooking and after you pour it out. The salt makes it taste great. But we need you to cook your pasta el dente. El dente means almost done. Right. Just I'm not sure it. Julia Child would say that, but uh, I'm sure there's a more ter a better term for that, like a professional term. But what my term is, is it's almost done. Like when you bite it, it's still got a little teeny, teeny hashtag no chef shush. <laughs> <laughs> so when you um, when your pasta is where it should be, you're going to put it in the sink and you're going to drain it, which I already have my pasta ready. Mmm, Gina. It looks good. Now, a trick is when you pour this in the sink, rinse it with cool water and then pour another oh, two tablespoons or so of olive oil in it and toss it. That will make it so it's not sticky, okay? So you're going to pour this into your pan. There's a dish for you, Gina. Right? <laughs> you got to earn your food. This is so simple. <laughs> so simple. All you're going to do is toss it. Now, the meat is at the bottom of the pan, of course. And so you're going to try and toss it and get it mixed up where your meat is coming up to the top and through the pasta. If you don't get it really, really well, it's okay. It's all going to be all right. You could take half of the hamburger, put it in the bottom, half of the half on top, and then stir it. But uh, the dishes, I just try not to do that stuff. I try to make it easy in the kitchen. All right, so once that's stirred up, you're going to take a can. How many ounces was this, Gina? Uh, 40. 46. Okay. Now, I put in the recipe to buy two cans of this. And the reason that I do that, Gina, is because this is a fairly large dish. Mm -hmm. So you're probably going to have leftovers. But when this sits in the refrigerator, the pasta absorbs the tomato juice. Oh, that sounds like it. So good. when you reheat it, you can put it in a bowl and put it in the microwave, but you're going to want to have extra juice. So I'm just saving you a trip to the grocery store. Exactly. That's kind <laughs> So we're going to put this entire can in. I do have my favorite brands, but you know, I want them to sponsor me, so I'm not going to share. Right? right. We're, we're looking at you, though. All right. Now, here's what Gary Tussie likes from me. He likes me to do big pouring since he's producing this show. <laughs> it's just a beautiful arch. Notice I backed up. If you're going to do big pouring, back up. All right. So then you just simply gent gently toss it again. Make sure that tomato juice is in there. Wow, this soaked up all that tomato juice already, Gina. That's why you only yeah. use three-fourths of the box, though, because it's going to. Tussie Homes, located in the heart of Kentucky, is known for their excellence and quality and craftsmanship. These original design homes are exactly what you and your family are looking for. To see a Tussie home, call Curtis Rose of Keller Williams at 859-358-9304. You can follow us on Facebook to see exclusive photos and projects. Tussie Homes, welcome home. Granite, marble, and quartz for any surface. Make a lifetime commitment you won't regret. The music in this program is available on Julie's latest CD, Big Blonde Baby. Get your copy at cdbaby.com forward slash cd forward slash Julie Tussie 2. Again, that's cdbaby.com forward slash cd forward slash Julie Tussie 2. Tussie Music and Entertainment. So now that we have our tomato juice on top, you can see it looks absolutely beautiful. When I cook my hamburger, of course, I have seasoned it, but the tomato juice needs more salt. So we're going to add more salt. I like to use a coarse salt because it's a little stronger when I'm cooking like large dishes. A little bit more pepper. I'm going to stir that in. And then here comes the clincher. You're going to love this. Now, if you're doing fit and fabulous, everything's been fit and fabulous thus far. It's a healthy, healthy dish that does not taste healthy. <laughs> 
but so you choose for fit and fabulous you're going to choose the leaner beef and then we're going to put on three cups of sharp cheddar cheese gina it's my favorite that looks like Guess heaven what? on a plate if you're doing fit and fabulous do a low fat i wouldn't recommend fat free it's a little bit too chewy and stringy for this dish but you're going to take three cups you can do four if your family likes cheese more you can do less if you don't like it or whatever it's a really really easy recipe you spread it on top like that and you put it in the oven and that's it that is it now we're going to put this nice. on 350 my stove says a little bit higher if you see it in the shop because i'm going to just melt it off for the show but you put it in for about 20 minutes and 20 20 and that's queen anne spaghetti we'll be right back and we are going to show you how to make a fantastic toss salad to go with this and then i think we're going to taste it that sounds great i'm <laughs> all about that cheese you just put on top <laughs> i know right I'm really for that all right Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. Yes, with me, no topic is off limits, but in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote unquote live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes. The Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. The music in this program is available on Julie's latest CD, Big Blonde Baby. Get your copy at cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 2. Again, that's cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 2. Tussie Music and Entertainment. Welcome back. We're getting ready to make a toss salad to go with our Queen Anne spaghetti. This is so easy. Gina. They're just going to call me the easy queen. They are, but you know, this is exciting it's because so good. this looks like you put through all kinds of effort to make this giant, nice meal for your family. And really you like had kids running around and whatnot, screaming and threw it you together in everything. 10 minutes. It's amazing. Yeah. It really, made me okay, open. let's just be honest. It is a very impressive meal. So if you're trying to impress somebody and you don't have a lot of time, this is great. If so first off, First off, I love romaine, but we're not using romaine today. No. You can use spring mix, you can use anything you want, but I have I have chopped up some fresh iceberg, and I actually did this one myself. Aww. Gina, Gina, you got off the hook there. I did. Uh -huh. How so, did I manage? Simple, simple, simple. Chopped tomatoes, you can use cucumbers, green peppers, onions, anything you want. Today, I am just, I'm in a hurry and I'm fast. Tomatoes, let me do this. I don't like my hands to get dirty. Then I'm taking black olives. Any olive that you like, I prefer to recommend to you not to use a pitted olive because some people don't know they're pitted, especially if it's kids or guests, right. and they might break their teeth. And then you <laughs> so, ruin your promotion. So I use the pitted olives. This is black olives. These are so big. I didn't think they'd be this big. Mmm, Gina, I love them. Our kids used to do this, one on every finger, and then they would eat them off. Yeah, it's, it's a fun way to Crazy. get them to eat vegetables. Here's my secret ingredient, feta cheese. I love feta cheese. Oh, baby. Gina's like, I'm ready to, to taste this. Cheese is All my right. kryptonite. So, so far we're fit and fabulous, right? You can actually get feta cheese in a um, light version. Mm -hmm. eh, I don't like it. I don't, I don't think the calorie difference is that big of a difference, but if you're really, really working it, you go for it. Now, I love to use a zesty Italian. If you're on a budget, the zesty Italians that are the store brands are better 
to me than the name brands most of the time. I am not a rich bish when it comes to salad dressing, but I have dis discriminating taste. My trick to make it fit and fabulous is on the top of most bottles. This one doesn't have much, thank God. But you'll see like one third oil. For 25 years being married to Gary and before that, I pour off the oil. And then I have all the flavor of a regular dressing and save on calories. Cut that down to fit and fabulous. And you just pour it on your salad. Gina, do you like a lot of dressing or just a little? When it's Italian, I love a lot. Like, voila, a little bit of salt and pepper. Do not toss it till they're at the table. It looks gorgeous. Are you ready to eat that? I am past ready mm. to eat that. It looks great. <laughs> That's right. Well, while we're waiting for that pasta to finish cooking, we are going to make you um, the original cherry cream soda. Let's set this over here, Dina. You'll get me the ingredients. Now, what I love about this recipe is that Gary and I discovered this when we were dating and it became one of my favorites and he literally would make it for me and bring it to me in the bathtub when we were married. Aww, Still does sometimes. That's sweet. He's wild. So it's really, really easy to make. You need, of course, two, two glasses. I love these. I don't, what are these called, Gina? You know all about these. Are they like a beer glass? No, my mama's gonna watch this show, you know. <laughs> Just because you know about glasses doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I appreciate fine dishware. Yeah, she appreciates fine dishware. It has nothing to do with what goes in it. Okay. So you get a beautiful glass. I like them a little bit deeper. And you're gonna take about, you're gonna fill this about one fourth of the way with Rose's Grenadine. Rose's Grenadine. This stuff, we had to go on a search, but it was actually in the liquor part of our store. It was. If you can't find it, it's usually by the club sodas and the drink the mixers. mixers. It has no alcohol in it, but it is a syrup that tastes like cherries. It's amazing. So you pour this in, you know, about there. Mm -hmm. If you get this made and it's not sweet enough, guess what you do? You just add more of this delicious stuff. Easy, simple. Beautiful. Now, let's do this. Uh-huh, we should have had that pop. Club soda, I love club soda. Now, if you're trying to do Fit and Fabulous, you can actually get a sugar-free cherry flavoring. Um, and it's in the recipes when we post them, so you can see them. Gina, did you show them our new card? We Is it? No, the cherry cream soda. Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> we put cherries on there for you. It was a lot of effort just for you guys because we care. Okay, I'm gonna, I hope this doesn't spout out like crazy, but I'm done waiting. I am not very patient with that. <laughs> Don't blame me, it looks good. So then you just almost fill the glass. I'm going to put about a quarter of the glass, a quarter, about a quarter cup of half and half in there. And of course, you know they make a fat free half and half for your fit and fabulous. I'm not doing that today because I'm giving you the original recipe and we're going to actually drink those and they're so good. Let me hand oh, it out. That's awesome. So I'm going to put, you know, a quarter cup in there. Just eyeball it. The creamier, the better in my opinion. So good to the last drop. And you take a straw and you stir it. Gary and I were in the Olive Garden, I believe, restaurant on a date and the, um, bartender recommended this. Oh my gosh, I've been addicted ever since. It's absolutely fantastic. Cream sodas have always been one of my favorites, so learning how to make it, that's pretty exciting. <laughs> if you make them for your kids, just put them in glasses with lids on them and let them blow bubbles in it to stir it. They'll yeah, love that's that. a good way to do it. <laughs> All right, Gina. Uh, yes. Here's to the Fabulous Cooking Show being a great blessing and success. Right, keep watching. Mm, mm. Do you like it? Is that the bomb? I do. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs>
Tussie Homes, located in the heart of Kentucky, is known for their excellence and quality and craftsmanship. These original design homes are exactly what you and your family are looking for. To see a Tussie home, call Curtis Rose of Keller Williams at 859-358-9304. You can follow us on Facebook to see exclusive photos and projects. Tussie Homes, welcome home. Granite, marble, and quartz for any surface. Make a lifetime commitment you won't regret. The music in this program is available on Julie's latest CD, Big Blonde Baby. Get your copy at cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 2. Again, that's cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 2. Tussie Music and Entertainment. And now this beautiful Queen Anne spaghetti is out of the oven. Look, Gina. I mean, come and look Golden. at this. Isn't it beautiful? It's the funniest thing I've ever seen with all that cheese on top. It really is a beautiful dish. Could you imagine having a, ta a table full of company, maybe your boss, your husband's boss, or whoever you're trying to impress, and you set this in the middle to serve? It's beautiful. So yeah. let's plate this up. Are you plates. ready? Hand me, a, I am. hand me a plate. Take that fork, if you would, please. Absolutely. So it's so simple. You can serve it in bowls, too. I like it soupy. So could I add extra cheese if I wanted it less soupy or just like... No, you would just put less tomato juice in. Okay. Okay, so Super I make adaptable. mine soupy, but you can make it thicker, whatever you want. Gary likes it thicker. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. Get my fork ready. For You're ready cheese. to go, aren't you? I am. <laughs> oh, Dina, this just, it feels so nostalgic every time I make this. It's my family's favorite, but I remember my mom teaching when I was a little girl teaching me that this came down from my, my grandmother who made it for my grandfather who was from Italy, and it's just been in the family. I'll take this. Gotcha. Gina! Well, you know, I was just going to nonchalantly bring this over. All right, are you ready to try it? Oh, definitely. All right. Oh, Lord, don't I let it be too hot. I am ready to try this. <laughs> it looks great. I'm mm. just going to get a wad of this cheese. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Wait till you taste it, Gina. You've never had it before. It's so good because the tomato sauce is not overwhelming. It's just tomato juice, and you kind of taste that, but it yeah. mixes in with the beef and the green pepper the and the green onion. It bakes together. It's really popping. I like it. Yeah. It tastes really fresh that way. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That, that is so good. granite, marble, and quartz for any surface. Make a lifetime commitment you won't regret. Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. 
Yes, with me, no topic is off limits. But in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote unquote live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes. The Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. I am so thankful that you watched the show today. I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors. I want to say thank you to Bluegrass Marble and Granite specifically. They are our girls. They are, they, are. they really are rock stars over there. They make the we most beautiful you, countertops. Look them up. They're in Richmond, Kentucky. Thank you so much for watching today. If you're watching on Roku, subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. Don't forget to go check out the Julie Tussie Show podcast. <laughs> do we have so much fun? We do, and you can hear us every week, and you know that that's what you look forward to. I know, we have a great following. We have a, It's just done so, so well. Please do look in the show notes for your um, recipe and your fit and fabulous recipes. And also, one thing I always say, you only get one life. Live it to the fullest. Until we see you again. Thank you so much for watching the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking today. Please go to thejuliecussieshow.com for your free downloadable recipes. Again, that is thejuliecussieshow.com. If life is my oyster, darling, pass the hot sauce.